My name is Darion and welcome to Hobbies and Hustles. We're talking to an artist that's probably the most slept on in the R&B game today. She has credits at songwriting, producing, and singing. She goes by the name of Tidra Moses. Check her out on this edition of Hobbies and Hustles. Sing it on me, I cater to the streets. Never was a phony one, pop ain't me. DVT, please drop me. Rather let them film me on mix CDs or hits I don't give a shit, the whole world wasn't so I'ma let it rip Like I'm holding the full fifth Let them know I'm that shit Still Now let's get into T.J. Moses First of all, how did you begin singing? I've been singing pretty much all my life to myself in the shower But I started out as a fashion stylist And um, that was cool, but it wasn't my passion It was a friend of mine's passion It was just a hustle for money, you know, just a hustle for money. But music seemed to be something that I could enjoy and make money, so I decided to go for it. Guess I'm just caught between my heart and mine. Wanting it to be good, knowing it's not. Crying all the time, praying that a change is gonna come. Yeah, that's just like the day. You said that you, you sung to yourself, so what made you step out of that boundary and say, you know what, I, I can sing. Did you do it in church or was it was it just no, in the studio? you know what, Darian, I never, I never sang in church, maybe once or twice. My children's father is a rapper, okay. <clears throat> and he would come home with tracks, and I would just write songs to his tracks, but you know, I never would go and record them. And then when we broke up and you know, I had to find a way to take care of the kids, I figured what better thing to do than to go out and pursue what I love, to try to make some money. So for those out there, how did, what was your first step in pursuing that goal? The first step was finding a producer. And uh, my children's father introduced me to Paul Pauly, who I did my first album with. Tell me what you know about, tell me what you know about. Loving so sweet, no beef, just us two. We just clicked right away and um, he allowed me to put my vision to his music and he didn't really try to compromise it and we had fun. We really had fun. And then six months later we went and uh, we shopped it after we finished it and we found a deal. I didn't want to be compromised. Okay. I wanted to be who I wanted to be and I wanted to write all my songs. And all of my friends in the industry from when I was a fashion stylist were telling me, you can't do that. You can't write all your songs. Not a new artist. You can't write all your songs. But I didn't care. I wanted to. You did it your way. I have to do it. I don't know any other way. Where, where does the, the, the writing come from as far as, because you do some deep writing in your music. On that particular album, it was a time in my life for what I was going through. Um, my, children and, my children's father and I, we broke up because of some really shaky circumstances. So it was like really some, uh, something really deep going on for me in that, in that part of my life. And then my mother died. And it made me start looking at my life a totally different way. You know what I mean? She was only 52. She suffered from a disease for five years before she died that debilitated her and she couldn't move. So I started being very appreciative of my life and looking at life like I'm not going to lose. You know what I mean? I may have gone through this. I may feel this way. This guy may have done this to me. Daddy may, may have not been there. All these different circumstances that I may have gone through, all I felt like was I'm not going to lose, you know? And that's what I put on the album. That's what I wanted to portray live in despite of whatever keep moving you know one of the songs i like that was just like a smooth song that you can just get into it. all the girls love it you'll see the girls doing it on youtube 
Just Wanna Be a Girl, that one of those songs, that title of that song is very smooth, got an old beat to it, mm-hmm. you know, a little, little sample little um, song. that Nas used. Okay. I forget the name of the song, I think it was the Street Fighter soundtrack. Yeah, well, why don't you give them a little bit of taste just in case, maybe they heard it, maybe they did Okay, I'll sing a little just, bit. Just a little first, though. And I wonder if you even notice me and all you gotta fill me and I would love you good just wanna be a girl <laughs> you took forth an effort to produ- you know get your own album out there but you got a lot of writing credits that people don't know about mm-hmm. uh, some of those credits that people can recognize what, what, what artists that have you worked with um, or wrote for, I should say. I've written with different artists. Macy Gray, um, Mary J. Blige, Christina Milian, Nivea, um, Raphael Sadiq. It's been really, really fun seeing how people take to me in as far as my peers, you right. know, or people that I look up to even. Yeah. And that's huge, that's huge for people to say, okay, I want you to come and get involved in my thing and they're part of my influence. They're part of what makes me who I am and what I do, you know? So it's, it's really huge. It feels great. Well, the one song that people probably will recognize well, actually, this is probably the biggest song she had was Christina Million's song. Mm-hmm. And you want to tell people what song that was? Tip it low, pick it up slow. What, what, what's the, one of the first steps you got to do to get to the step that you are now? Um, I think the first thing you have to do is relinquish fear in anything, any hustle you're going to go towards. You got to relinquish fear and let that go when you have to know that whatever has to be done, you just got to go hard and you got to do it. You know what I mean? Um, when it comes to singing and music and arts, I'm very sensitive with that thing, so be good at it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? First yeah. off, just be good, you know, and hone it and, and try to be your best at it and then go and sell it confidently. Whatever your hustle is, go at it confidently. Also, love it. You know, love it for more than just the money. If nothing came out of it but a fulfillment to your soul or to your heart or your purpose in life to pursue a dream, if that's all that came out of it, you should feel successful at it. So once again, let them know not to give up. Never, ever. Keep hope alive. That's what's up. Hobbies (laughs) and Hustle, this edition, your man Darion, Tedra Moses, we out. See you next week on Hobbies and Hustles.